countdown's awkward it's i it, it's we've been trying to get better at being like oh let's talk so we like come in like a cold open um not that this will be like a podcast episode i just thought i'd double dip the the content i'm bothering to to create here so uh you uh introduced me to log sec log seek is it log sequence log seek log sec um, i think it's log sec log but sec? i could be wrong okay um but so uh let me share my uh log sec um so uh i mean i've heard of it before i've heard of all like the obsidian the notion the whatever um and notion i've got a, a comprehensive notion solution to where my life is in order like i figured really? out notion it's awesome i maybe i'll show that, that to you time. maybe i'll show you that next time i've got <laughs> i've got tasking knowledge management it's solved at least for me i don't know if it would work for everyone but i i have a comprehensive solution where i'm not confused about where stuff goes or where 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 it is now um so and i've got different flows and channels and stuff and my stuff gets done i've got a specific wild. channel for the stuff i absolutely have to get done as an adult so it's been really functional for me um <laughs> I can't. I can't move to log sec. I, one. What. What am I doing? I have a functional system. Stop. Just. Just finish your. If, if, if I run out of stuff to do, I'll switch my whole life up. Sure. Um, <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I, I currently take my notes today using uh, Markdown files. I uh, the concept of a work journal was explained to me uh, by uh, Greg Bupp a while ago, um, an old friend, and you know. He's like, yeah, write down what you do. So when someone asks you what you did, you can just go check. And I'm like, that's good. That's helpful. Um, and I use it for notes and stuff. But it's like, it's kind of nasty when someone's like, don't forget to do this. And you're like, okay, boss. And then like, especially if you can't put it in like a ticket, you're, you're toast. Like, how are you going to keep track of your stuff? So you have like a, oh, well, you know, it's not today's note. It's like, don't forget next time. I need to remember for like Friday. Terrible. Oh, oh my goodness. Especially date specific. Terrible. Exactly. So uh, I've been really enjoying LogSec, and you were like, oh my god, show me. So you know what? I will, but I won't record my work journal for reals for the video. I'll show you Fair. what I'm doing, and then at the end, just for you, I'll show you what it really looks like. <laughs> off the, the secret, secret off stuff? Off the air, yeah, the secret stuff. Um, not that I'm leaking any company secrets. It's all obfuscated, of course. Not that you could prove otherwise. So uh, <laughs> here's uh, here's what it looks like to me. Um so this is your I, daily note, right? Yeah. And so I set up a, a fresh graph and I, I faked a few notes. And so, uh, you know, the experience I'll demonstrate is, oh, I've used it for a couple of days and here's what my today looks. So um, I was like, oh, man, you know, a couple of days ago, not the case, but, you know, for the purposes of I, I've got a, a, a slash doing. I did a slash doing uh, okay. demo log sec for Lauren and I put the date that it was due. Uh, the way I did that was slash doing, you know, demo slash date picker and then you can date picker is this core know. functionality or is this a this plugin? is core i have no plugins zero plugins you have no plugins installed zero at all. plugins like whatsoever zero mm -hmm. plugins um that's interesting and so uh that that comes out of the box uh date picker 18 you know great uh so let me, let me close that um so uh you know on the 17th i'm like oh come i'm gonna start working on this and so i right click copied block ref and if you've used Rome Research, same deal. Mm -hmm. It's got a link to the block itself. And so I'm not, you know, re referring, referring, referring. I'm doing a block reference. Recreating, yeah. And what's cool about block references are in your uh, item here, you see this little one? Mm-hmm. This refers to any block references. So there's a lot of good cross-linking. Very helpful. Oh, okay. So you can find those are the backlinks, essentially. Right. Backlinks, I think, is a fair way of referring to it. Um, so I did the uh, journaling and markdown. Uh, so this has been a convenient application to abstract that markdown with to-dos and daily notes. Um, my favorite feature about this is the nag pile, I'm calling it, because that's what my day has just turned into is the nag pile. I love that. Show Today's me January nag pile. 18th, right? Check this out. This is what I am presented in my current day. I have a blank outline and then i've got this now pile which is configured on the back end they have like a default definition you can actually change what's in here but this just comes by default right out of the box mm -hmm. um this is just like a, a a query of the content um and so uh i have well two things one this linked reference would have shown up anyway because the page that i'm on 
is the date that I set. The date picker refers to the markdown file name of the date you're on, like the, so the those work are journal. Automatically connected. Yeah. And so so like today, a January 18th, comma 2024.md was created, and references to that name show up. What if I used a like okay, what if I am drafting a note in here and I'm like Oh, I'm going to I'm going to drop in my book notes on the Peter principle. And I'm like, "Oh, well we read chapter 1 on January 5th." I'm so I'm so glad you asked. Check check this out. No, because because I I, I didn't even uh occur to me to to share this. The Peter principle slash chapter 5 um and I mean, you don't even need the date because it being present here uh makes it kind of dated but let me show you okay. what this does to it um uh this was about pushing and how to push etc okay and then i hit escape to because i it just makes me feel nice not to have my cursor in there at the end but check this that. out so so when you click this you'd think oh well this just goes to a page called the peter Prinzel chapter five check this out if i click it there's actually a hierarchy function, again, out of the box, where the slash mm. turns it into kind of a namespace. And so everything about the Peter Principle is, in, in, is organized, under that. Is organized but you in could this have way. separate, like, chapter one, two, three, four, five, or you, I'm guessing you could also do concepts, right? So if I wanted to do, like, uh, the pretty pass as under the Peter, the Peter Principle slash the pretty pass, and write, like, that's what that concept is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I mean, it's it's kind of up to you how you would set up such a hierarchy. Funny that okay. I would have the application of hierarchy to this book, but, um, but yeah. So that was fascinating to me because you can start to organize stuff in my. So I also have it for my uh, personal notes. I actually moved from my bullet journal to LogSeek on my phone. LogSec on my phone. We'll see if I stay there, but I have you, things like. Are you paying a subscription for that? Or I'm not syncing. That... It's just on my okay. phone. So it's your um, phone notes versus your computer notes. Yeah. So, well, so I have my work journal notes on my work station mm -hmm. that my company gave me to work on. <laughs> they will take it when I am done. Uh, and I have on my phone another single instance of LogSec. I do not use it for my personal notes. I am not attempting to sync it. When I got into sh seeing how to sync it, mm -hmm. I was like, stop, stop. What are you doing? You've, you're going to ruin your life. Stop it. Just use Notion until you run out of stuff to do, which will never happen. But it's better than Markdown. But it's better than a bullet journal. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about the bullet journal. But the point I wanted to make was I'll make comments associated with my wife. Like, oh, you know, she mentioned this. She mentioned that. She asked for this. She asked for that, you know. Um, and I'll go, you know, name slash category of topic and any, any kind of subcategory I make, I can always just be like, here is her mega everything file because it's hierarchied, you know? Yep. Um, so I found that uh, really interesting. Did this answer your question? It did. Okay, so that's that's at least my opinion on how to approach it. Um, I've also seen recommendations of you can do at signs for people's uh, names, you know, said X, Y, Z, uh, so that you can uh, quickly do at to get your suggestions based on prefixes like the at symbol. I thought that was clever. I haven't used it much. I've been like, oh, at such and such said this, but I, I could haven't you, used it much. Could you alias like a name? Like, could I say Joe versus Joe still? Um, I believe they and are all... And have those be like linked in any way? I, I, I'm not certain. Uh, you could, of okay. course, uh, link them to each other in each of their page literals, but I'm not certain. Um okay. Uh, other things I want to emphasize, though, for my personal work application, because, again, I'm not advocating this as a comprehensive solution, but if you've got notes and stuff all over the place for work specifically is the advocation is, is the advocacy I'm making here. Um, man, is it nice to have the nag pile? I really want to emphasize the nag pile, because when I come into work now, I've got this blank page. And instead of being like, ah, what should I do today? Hopefully I'll remember or let me check my my correctly curated kanban you know or whatever i Could have you... every damn thing i've been asked to do just in the pile could you can you categorize the pile like 
here, like I want to group all of my to-dos by account. So like I have customer A, customer B, customer C. Uh, so um, with regard to the nag pile, I would say uh, you would probably, I, I would think to do something like uh, slash doing would uh, bring it into the nag pile. Actually, mm -hmm. let me demonstrate this by applying it as a past event and then refreshing the page so it picks it up because it's not automatically going to pop into the nag pile if I'm like messing with an old day. Um, but I would be like, oh, yesterday doing, uh, and then again, that hierarchy might mm -hmm. have some value or at the very least customer A, if you don't have some subcategory you need to manage, uh, task X, Y, Z, you know, do, you know, next week, you know, escape. Oh, it did pop up. Good. And then so yeah, now... I, say, I thought I did see it auto-refresh. Apparently. Good. Um, so now, again, when I come in the following day, today, I'll have a blank slate, but I'll see my items I've marked doing. And I mean, if you want to see what you have to do for a given client, you're probably going to need to go into that client and you can see your, your doing references here, you know, and you can make task query blocks too, which is the way the nag pile even shows up in the first place is that's some so query can you write code. Query, any query? Like, can I write my own custom query? They, uh, here's settings. Let me just show you the config line right here. So it's got some, you know, default queries. It's got this crazy journal thing that grabs mm -hmm. the last 14 days with this query. So it's quite expressive. Um, I won't slash can't explain it. Uh, no, at but least immediately, but it is readable. Like I would get in here and just experiment a little. Guarantee Chat GPT if you handed it and you were like, make it do this instead, it'd be like done. So probably, you know, because it's an old enough application that that's going to be within its competence. Um, but I haven't messed with it. I'm, I'm really trying to actually avoid uh, making it quite uh, quite so advanced. Um, but uh, so that, I mean, that's my answer is. You, you absolutely can tag things to things and there are ways to make queries. And I would imagine you would just go into, I guess that customers, uh, you can even do customer slash task slash, you know, doing for example. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the doing here is just so it pops into your nag pile, but functionally you could kind of use a hierarchy to build out a functional task system where you would go to customer a slash task and it would be your pile of yeah like i'm gonna work on this customer for the tasks. for today or whatever yeah here's all the tasks i need to get done yeah because here here for example if you're in the task category well i mean you probably go into doing to you know really be able to see that so i mean at least that that's what comes to my mind first i i really do think that the the hierarchy uh serves well to manage uh a multi a multiple focus and then when you're done um with your task you just you know mark it as done <laughs> and it will be uh gone from the you know doing pile and it'll be in your done pile <laughs> you know and it's like you know how much do you actually need to be tracking some of this stuff really ideally go put it in your tr ticket tracking system and then it turns into just a hyperlink to that ticket because in my opinion having the nag pile again is is the the primary uh coping value i've gotten out of this i don't so is that get your distracted with new stuff i don't get distracted with new stuff because i look at the pile fair um and then yeah other things like uh clicking the dot focuses you in on the dot which helps you maybe expand without being in a little crunched nested area that's kind of nice that's just it's like workflowy um but yeah that's that's the short of it. I take all my notes in here and I have a nice nag pile. What do you think? I like it. I don't know. I, I At first I was like, it's basically just Obsidian. I'm not going to like switch, but I don't know. I do really like the query. So I'm going to see, I'm going to think about that a little bit more. The out, Honestly, I think the only reason I'm not on Obsidian <laughs> is the outliner. Because what I do in Notion and Obsidian is I make a nested bullet list. And I mean, that might just be my own preference that I'm projecting, mm -hmm. but like, uh, it having native outliner utility that has the extended benefit of being able to make block references Rome research style uh, has been really effective for me to just uh, uh, compartmentalize 
concepts. Oh, and collapse them. Oh my goodness, mm. being able to collapse your your giant ass notes you're never going to read again. Collapse, you know, and then you have more workspace, which I'm sure Obsidian has the capacity for. But, uh, but yeah. So I'll I'll uh, I'll cut it there. <laughs>